Yo, what's going on guys? We got a product review video here for you today. Today we're reviewing the Sims Fall Run Insulated Hoodie. This guy right here. We're gonna throw this guy on and then we'll get into the reviewing. So to properly review this jacket, I kind of wanted to look at how Sims kind of advertised this on their website. You know, what kind of things were they pointing out? How are they selling this to the customer? Um, like I said, I've had this jacket for about two or uh, one or two months now. I've really loved it personally. Um, and I'm gonna break down kind of why and whether or not I think they advertised it properly. So kind of here in the product, product overview, it goes on to say, the perfect three season jacket, both on and off the water, the lightweight fall run hoodie packs a heavy weight warmth to mass ratio for less bulk under bibs and waders, worn alone or paired with waterproof or breathable shell. I don't own that, so it doesn't really matter there. Um, it's extremely compressible. It's the ideal layer for stowing in your day pack or sling pack. And so the first thing that jumps out to me is it lives up to the advertisement or claim as a perfect three season jacket. Uh, I got this two, about two months ago and in Montana, that's still winter, even though it's March. Um, so I've been really enjoying wearing this out on some cold days. Uh, with other layers under, underneath, I'm not wearing this just by itself on those super, super cold days, um, but it doesn't say that it's meant to be, uh, nor do I think anyone would assume it to be. Uh, but it is great as an extra layer, especially being an outerwear on, on days it's not raining. Uh, I did actually wear it in the rain. It does okay, but it is water resistant, not waterproof. Um, so definitely maybe a rain jacket or something if it's going to be cold and rainy. So, and on some of those warmer days, like the 40s and 50s, uh, I've kind of found that it's kind of a st temperature stable product. I don't get super, super hot in it. Uh, and I can still wear it comfortably without like sweating my butt off when it does get a little bit warmer, uh, which is super nice for days here in Montana. We have days, especially early spring, late fall, where we have huge swings in temperature where it starts off, you know, below freezing and then gets up to like 60, 70, 80 degrees during the day. Now, obviously you're not gonna be wearing this at 80 degrees, but can kind of take you through that morning. And then as it gets super warm in the afternoon, you take off the layer, which comes into the next thing, the heavyweight warmth to mass ratio. And again, this is something that I think they advertised well on those days where there is a high swing and you need to take it off. It's a super compressible material. Uh, I wore this out shed hunting. We started off in the morning. It was super, super cold. I wore this over all my layers about halfway up the mountain, super, super warm, sweating. Uh, well, not quite, but I was going to. So to prevent that, took it off. Uh, I threw this into my backpack and I don't even like have like a hiking pack or, or a framed pack. I just have like a frameless backpack and I was carrying a spotting scope, you know, my lunch, you know, a big thing of water and compressed it down, threw it in there, still comfortable and was able to fit it all into the pack without, you know, tearing anything or whatnot. So, and when I'm fishing, this is perfect because I wear the Umqua chest pack with the backpack feature and I've done it before. It's super easy to just fold it up, throw it in the back and then just carry it out when I'm done for the day. So very, very comfortable underneath the waders too. Um, it's not super thick, compresses nice underneath there. There's not a lot of bulk and haven't run, run into any issues there. Uh, some of the features on there, I love the zippered pockets, um, and they are warm pockets. They do have a felt liner in them. Uh, super, super warm pockets, plus I love the zip feature because I put a lot of stuff in my pockets. Uh, plus, when I have my phone, it's super easy to just put my phone in my pocket underneath my waders so it doesn't fall out into my waders and then you end up with like a phone down by your ankles and then you have to like dig it out awkwardly. We've all been there. Don't lie. Don't lie. We've all been there. Um, so some other stuff that people might be interested in, it is, there's a lot of recycled materials in it. If that's kind of something that you're looking for in a product, um, I'm just looking for good products, but it is nice that it's not horrible for the environment either. Uh, again, this is a water resistant product. It is not waterproof. Um, this comes in at a $149 and 95 cents, uh, retail. And in, it's available in two colors. This is the dark stone fly, the one that I'm wearing right now. And I, I really love the olive color and kind of that signature Sims orange underneath, uh, which I really do enjoy. Plus I had 
I have a lot of black stuff, so I didn't really want another black one. But it does come in black if that's your thing. Uh, both are dark colors, so in the wintertime, absorbs a lot of sunlight, keeps you warm. All good there. I will say my biggest complaint with this jacket is the hood. I'm not a super big fan of hoods that like lock your head in. So this comes down over and there's not like a whole lot of, I mean, there's enough mobility, but I'm kind of like picky. I like to have a hood and I like to throw it up here and kind of do my thing, you know, gangster style. <laughs> um, not really, but I, I don't really enjoy having the hood that far over my head. I really love having good peripheral vision. Uh, so I kind of get away with it by wearing a hoodie underneath and then I don't really put the hood up on the jacket. I just put my hoodie hood up. So that's probably my, my biggest thing with the jacket, but I think that is something that's going to be kind of common with most kind of puffy style insulated hoodies. So I don't think you're really going to be able to get away from it there. Uh, I think the price is fair, definitely. And so far, uh, it's been a durable product. Uh, the other thing I will say is I did wear this out in New York. I was doing some pike fishing uh, and it's not so much an issue here out west where we don't have a lot of prickers and stuff uh, but I did walk through some prickers and stuff that cut up my legs and I could see that being a detriment to this jacket and just absolutely shredding it so be careful about that um, but I mean that's gonna happen with most stuff but I could definitely see it tearing up something like this so stay away from those prickers but uh, as far as you know rating goes you know I think it's I would give it like Five stars. I think it's worth it. I think it's a quality product that would definitely help you stay more comfortable out on the water. Uh, I foresee it being very durable. Again, as long as you're not running through rose bushes or pricker bushes or whatnot. But I think it's a good product. I think you should consider adding it to your arsenal. Uh, and so lastly, there is some cleaning stuff that they put onto the tag in order to take care of this product. And I'll just read it for you here. I haven't washed it yet. I haven't owned it long enough or gotten it super dirty. It, it says to machine wash cold with mesh laundry bag, wash separately, do not bleach, tumble dry, low heat, uh, which makes sense. I mean, it's kind of a plasticky material. You don't want to dry this thing on high and absolutely just melt it to shreds. So, but that's going to do it for this product video, review video. Um, if you've had this product before uh, or if you own this product right now and you want to share your thoughts, please do so in the comments section. I certainly don't know everything about it and have only owned it for a short period of time. So I'm certainly welcome to your input and would love to hear what you have to say. But if you guys do enjoy these videos, uh, especially these review type videos, leave a like on the video, comment. Uh, maybe we'll do some of them in, some more of them in the future. And like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz really helps me out. And we will see y'all in the next one. Take care, y'all.